right, greetings and salutations. It's Harvestella. Yeah, Harvestella again. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I changed my shirt so it doesn't look like I've been doing this like all day or every day. It's a different shirt, but it's not. We'll just go get a new shirt. It's nice. It's a nice shirt. I like it. But Harvestella, let's let's roll out and and do the thing. Is it probably what day six or so? All right. I guess we still got a little bit pause, but we kind of got to go to bed. So we'll start this off with us going to sleep. And uh, evening. Drop a like on that video or this video. Drop a like on all the videos. There's a sound coming from the other bed. I guess they left. I think that girl went outside. Where should could she be going? I should go check on her. Probably a good idea. It's already been three days, and I haven't found a single thing. What clues do I have besides the Red Queen over there? What will I do if everyone's already dead? Wow, it's getting pretty dark. I hope everyone at the research team is doing okay. How could this happen? We still had so much left to learn about the Red Queen. Mom, Dad, will I ever see home again? If I stay here? She is so sad right now. Get it together, Arya. You can't let this place break you. You've managed this far, haven't you? She's talking to herself. You're the one who can do what needs to be done. And there's still so much left to do. Drop a like. Who's there? It's you. Were you listening just now? Why, whatever do you mean? <laughs> do not try to treat me like an idiot. <laughs> Would you talk with me a while? Ah, this must be one of those girl talks. So you haven't had it easy either. Being all alone like this. I never really thought about it. Man. Maybe you just don't care. It's Arya, by the way. Is that some future people slang? It's my name. You guys have those, right? I figured... Couldn't hurt to let you know that much about me, at least. I'm going to sleep. Good night. Probably for the best. He's very cold and distant. Alright, we got a little bit of, of scratch uh, for the gorilla. Wow, that's that's a lot of goju. We basically paid for and got a bonus for our little thing, Mabob. Now all we gotta do is take care of today's crops. So it's day six, video six in the series.
Arya is organizing her belongings. Going on a trip? Yeah, something like that. This may be the last time you and I ever see each other. It's been brief, but thank you. Are you going somewhere far? Hmm, you could say that. You know the crystal you call the Seas Light? The secret behind what dragged me to this time has to be hiding there. So that's where I'm going. Because I need to find a way home. Goodbye. Well, that happened. Oh, it's 6 a.m. Oh my gosh. 6 a.m. So much to do. So little time. Alright, let's take a look at how the farm's going. Oh, we got something right here. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, it seems like the plants are already watered, so it must have rained or something. So we don't have to really water them. That's pretty exciting. They're probably... Go ahead and eat this. This is our breakfast for the day. Maybe grab some of that. Alright, let's do whatever. Alright, the quest marker says, come here. Whoa, hold on a second. It's our livelihood. Even if it's as dangerous as you say it is, we'll be lost without it. It may seem extreme, but it's for your own safety. Your mayor has already agreed it to be prudent. Mayor, you can't be serious. Uh... The order is currently handling the abnormalities occurring in the areas surrounding Seas Light. And we cannot promise Leith won't be affected by the Autumn Seas Light all the same. That's why we are stopping us from using the Monolite completely. What will we do in the meantime? Ah, come to see what all the noise is about? Did something happen? More tyranny from the Seas Light Order. Just who do they think they are? Uh, of course, you must have no idea what the Order is. If the name wasn't already a dead giveaway, they're a religion that wor worships the Seas Light. Excuse me, Father. What is it? You say the area surrounding the Seas Light is changing, but how is it changing? That information is confidential to the Order. That being said, we have already witnessed casualties near the Winter Seas Light at the Order Stronghold. Did you say casualties? Yes, the situation is that severe. As you are already aware, Lux Vein connects to the Monolite to the Seas Light directly to that end. We will be taking control of the monolite until the cause of these changes can be ascertained. But how long could that take? I guess if it's a threat. I like to think, think things will go back to normal if we leave it alone for a little while. Then again, it's no laughing matter if priests of the order are getting injured. What with all the armor they wear. You should stay away from the Seas Light in the meantime. Will Arya be okay? Who's Arya? You tell you tell what happened. She what? The girl went to the Seas Light alone? Hmm, what's all that commotion over there? Nunya? Ah, nothing. <laughs> we can't talk here. Come on, let's go somewhere else. Oh, minding your own business. Who the hell do you think you are? So the girl went to the sea slight looking for something that will explain why she's stuck in our time. 
There must be some connection. It, didn't it start glowing the moment she landed in that crystal hub of her own? Do you think it's dangerous? I think so, especially if the Seas Light Order is telling everyone to keep their distance. My understanding is that the Seas Light are crystals of light found across the world in one of four colors. But I've never really put much thought into why they're here or what they do. I can say that they're essential to our way of life. Without the monolite, our lives here wouldn't be possible. Thinking about it now, that also brings into question why we live the way we do. A lot of questions I don't have the answers to. But that priest was, was wound pretty tight. Something bad must really be going on for the order to be up in arms. That girl Arya, was it? She's not fully recovered. I don't know why, but her body is extremely fragile. A weak wind could knock her over. I can't believe she would run off like that, even after I told her she needed to take it easy. But I'm only a doctor. There's nothing I can do. If the Order can't keep things under control, then what chance do I stand? Don't you go doing anything reckless. Understand, you're still recovering too. I've got to go. See you later. Ooh, that water. I, I'm drinking water. I hope Ari is okay. Yeah. Gotta have water, man. Sorry, I'm crushing up the thing. Well, what's this? this? It's Arya's diary. All you need to know is that this diary is something like a compass that will help me get back to my own time. Why would she leave this behind? I should give this back to her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the mayor! You're off to find that girl, are you? Cress already told me about it. She's worried about her too. I'm not here to stand in your way. What you, what you do from here is up to you. But I'm reminded of a man that used to live here who missed his chance to save the life of another. It haunted him every day of his life, but that's a story for another day. This equipment used to belong to him. It's not seeing any use sitting around here. So why don't you take it with you? You received a magic swordsman ring. Yay! Yeah, we might put that on right now. If you want to get there quick, head north when you leave the village and you'll be there in no time. Awesome. Chapter 1 from Beyond Complete. Alright, it is 7 a.m. and my word. That took an hour? Uh, it took like 13 minutes actually. Alright, so we've checked all this. It doesn't look like we need to water anything. I should probably keep that little bit of food on us. We still ate, so I guess I guess we're gonna go find her. Our first dungeon crawl. Digging Canyon. This is definitely what it is. And, uh, did you like the video yet? You should. I'm telling you. You gotta drop that like. Ah. Higgin Canyon. Alright, looks like we were able to move. Still can't mess with those things. Ah! An armor figure is kneeling on the ground. That damn Geist. To think he is willing to go to such lengths in his madness. I can't let him continue with this plan, but I'm not going to get far with my armor in this condition. The armor figure appears to be troubled. 
Well, help him. Huh? And what do you want? You're offering to help? You don't know... You do know what I am, right? You're still willing to assist me? Suit yourself. As you can see, my armor has been damaged. It appears a piece of it was sent flying somewhere. I think I saw it land somewhere in that direction. Would you mind taking a look for me? So I guess we have to help them. Odd black component. Oh, got a return bell too. Running around with a really big sword. All right. You hand over the odd black component. Ah, so you found it after all. Thank you. Scary. For a moment there, I thought I was standing at death's door, or perhaps kneeling would be more apt. Your language still baffles me with its idioms and nonsense. Nonetheless, I appreciate your help. I'll be sure to repay you. Correct me if I'm wrong, but are you heading towards the sea's light? That's right, I'm looking for someone. The one you're looking for, she must be that Abel girl who passed by here earlier. The name Abel confuses you? Ah, perhaps it's best if I use the term human around you instead. I wasn't able uh, to get a look at her as she went by. My suit was in a state of disrepair, after all. But the silhouette was definitely that of a human girl. She looked to be in something of a panic. Yeah, that must have been Arya. You explain the situation. So you're following that girl towards the sea slate. In that case, why don't we go together? You know, you humans look down upon my kind. We who you call the omens. But the environment up ahead has grown strange. And I am injured. It would be difficult to proceed alone. Still, you must have some reservations on joining an omen on your journey. I have nothing against omens. Is that so? You certainly are an oddity. Moving on. It is in our best interest to cooperate. We will travel together until we reach the autumn sea slight. I suppose it's unusual. I suppose now is usually the time where you humans exchange names. Is that right? My name is Diane... Dian... Dianathus? And you are... Larise. I have it dedicated to memory. Has joined your party. Hells yeah. Alright, well, let's get start. Now that we have the formalities out of the way, let us proceed. Hostile creatures prowl the area up ahead. It would serve you well to prepare yourself for battle. Uh, alright. The monsters look unsettled. Could it be the effects of the sea's light? That was Dionethus. Press RB when close to makes it easier to land hits. Press LB when multiple enemies are on screen to change which ones you're targeting. Okay, good. End of battle. All clear. All right. I don't know which way I'm going, but I'm going. All 
All right, let's get this one. Let the battle commence. End of battle. All clear. All right, looks like we're doing fine. Uh, we don't need to fish right now, do we? What's over here? Ah, uh, a ladder. All right, we'll go to the dead ends. It's only 9.40 a.m. We still got a lot of day. Ah, some more seeds. Nice. Free seeds are always nice in my book. What have you here? There's a broken ladder. It might be usable if it's repaired. What are you looking at over there? Fixing it may lead to a shortcut. A ladder? I see if we repair it, this may serve as a shortcut. Yes, that's what I just said. I have analyzed its condition and believe it should not take much time to repair nor any special equipment. I will teach you how to repair it. Nice. You can fix ladders and it's all over the place. It's a good little thing. Oh, yeah. But this is, uh, allows you to shortcut into the area that you need to go to. I want to probably go, go back. Oh, we got we can't go we can't do that. We don't do that here. All right, let's go. Had to eat a little something something. All right, rolling and rolling. Search. This big red and pleasant smell. I do not want to eat this mushroom. We decide it's a good idea to leave. I missed a few strikes. It's okay. Rolling. This... Oh man, these goblins are messing me up, man. That's a little bit of lumber, though. A little bit of uh, some mush mushrooms. There we go. Oh, we need to wait a little longer. Let the battle commence. Get them goblins. Them goblins. All right, come on, buddy. There we go. Yeah, it looks like there's something over here. Probably. Ooh, it's a Canelo doll. Yay, Canelo dolls. Is it like a random collectible? Well, there has to be something over here, too. You see something shiny inside the bushes. It might be something useful. Yeah, let's reach in and grab it. Uh, it's a beautiful shiny crystal. Star crystal. But then a monster appears from the bushes. It looks like that was its crystal. The monster attacks. Well, now it just lost its lumber, too. Get wrecked. 
Let the battle commence. End of battle. All yeah. I saw a chest. We're going to pick it up. Good fight. Good fight. Ah, look at what we have here. It's another one of those repair ladder things. It is 2.50 p.m. Let the battle commence. End of battle. All clear. All right. Got a little bit of meat from that. We're rocking, we're rolling. I feel something unusual ahead. Do you still want to continue? Yes. We have to. That structure. What is it doing? So it's, it, oh gosh, words and stuff. What is it doing in such a place? Perhaps, no, it defies reason. What's wrong with that building? It should not exist in this space. But there's little use in trying to explain why to a human. What is this? Do my eyes deceive me? Princess, I am on my way. What is the meaning of this? Neither are you are my princesses. Nay, you are not but tricksters. We're, we're not trying to trick you. Oh, the Hellion dares speak before my divine presence. Are your puny mortal eyes unable to see the magnolious that is my celestial vessel? Hmm? You mean the horn? Impertinent buffoon, do not mistake this for any ordinary horn. Oh, to mistake my pure princess with such savages, this might be the gravest mistake of my life. If such a faux pas was to reach the palace walls, do keep this a secret from the royal family, won't you? What a particular creature. I didn't know such beings could even exist. Ha! So the omen concedes there are still things in this world beyond their realm of understanding. Such abortly arrogant creatures, you would do well to learn from me a prime example of unparalleled humility. Let's just go. <laughs> of course, you're searching for the girl. Let's head deeper into the ravine. Wait just a moment. Do my ears deceive me now, or did you just say you were searching for a girl? Mayhap it's you scoundrels who swept my princess away. I don't know anything about a princess. There's no use playing dim. My keen eyes have long seen through your nefarious little scheme. Now that I think on it, I have never before heard of a human and an omen joining forces. How very suspicious. Yes, very, quite dubious indeed. You will tell me where you have hidden my princess. Refuse and I will unleash the fuel force of my illuminable power. Witness me, you verfacious trolls. Oh boy. Apparently, it's using magic. Shoot. There. Fire. Ow. Ow. You have my gratitude. Gotta fight this thing. Is 
using magic on me. Ah. I got pushed back. Hm. I must say, I'm impressed. You forced my hand. I have no choice but to unleash my most dreadful final ability. Sabulius Spear. Witness me. The horned creature fully replenishes its health. <laughs> now, now it is as though you have nary laid a scratch upon me. Terrifying, no? Utterly stupefying. You are welcome to tremble in my presence. I've added words. Now for a rematch, and this time you will tell me where my princess is being kept. Fail to do so, and I will heal my wounds again and again as many times as is required. Hold on a second. Yes, give us a moment to say our peace. We honestly have no idea where your princess is. Particular creature. Peculiar creature. I am a unicorn of the cryptids. You audacious cretin. Very well, unicorn, was it? Please listen to what we have to say. Louise, would you do the honors? You explain the situation. Hmm, I am certain this Arya and my princess are not one in the same. Their names are different for, for a start. Please forgive my haste, although it is quite some coincidence that we should both be searching for someone. Would you like to come with us? Louise, are you sure? If you wish to bring them with us, then by all means. Oh, you wish to join me in my search? I have only just arrived at this ravine myself, so I'm not well acquainted with the terrain. Yes, I see no harm, until I find my princess at least. But I will not fight by your side. I promised only ever to use my healing magic for the princess. I have no problem with that. I'm not completely sure I trust you anyway. We've wasted enough time. Let's move on. Yeah, for real. There's a lot of story in this one. This day is full of story. It's 3.30 p.m. What is a Motus Monolite doing here, of all places? Did Gis leave it here? Best not to look a gift horse in the mouth. What does it do? What it does is allow us to improve our search efficiency considerably. You can use this monolite to travel to another in a different location. I see your eyes glazing over. Simply put, it will allow us to teleport instantaneously. If I remember rightly, there was one just like this at the entrance of the ravine. But you cannot use it until you've registered it. And to do that, you'll need one of these. Oh. Motus Magicite. Now I can warp. And also return home. And I can save my progress. You can use that stone to register a Motus Monolite and make them available for use. You would do well to register any monolite of this type for you happen across on your journey. Awesomeness. Activate. I've activated it. Alright, we're going to go ahead and save this. See, I've already played a lot of it. So we're going to save this right here. I think I think we could probably just save it right here too. You know what? I'm just gonna save it right here, and I'm gonna save save this too. See, I've taken over. But now we can like travel and stuff. But it's still 3:40 p.m. I know the video is getting a little bit long this time. But uh, we must, we must carry, carry on. We have to save people. Ah, the bridge is broken. If we can fix it, then we'll be able to cross the other side, but... I don't know how to fix it yet. What's wrong this time? 
We can't cross a broken bridge. Ah, uh, repairing this bridge is necessary in order to reach the other side. Yeah, of course. Even you should be capable of repairing a bridge of this size. With the necessary tools, please wait a moment. You should face no problem repairing a bridge with these repair tools. Ah, I received a repair kit. And the recipe. It may seem obvious, but repairing anything requires some time. Unlike me, you have a limit to the amount of energy you can exert. Take care when managing your time. Alright, we're going to fix the bridge. And that's an hour. So it's 5 p.m. now. Look at that. If we go on a repair run, it'll make videos real short. That monster. Wait, Lorise. That monster has a thicker hide that is more resistant to physical impact than the others we have fought so far. We cannot expect our weapons to be of much use against it. But perhaps magic will make light work of it. Hmm? You look this way? You seem perfectly capable of casting magic to me. I am, but Lori's is not. And what does that matter? It matters because fighting monsters like that without magic is going to eat up a lot of our time. Or is that okay with you? Ugh, it isn't. Then what would... Would you be so gracious as to teach Lori's how to use magic? Me? My magic? Please, Mr. Unicorn... Ugh. Are you really okay with taking it slow? Ugh. Very well. This way, Louise. Now listen carefully. This is a rare and irredeemable, valuable lecture from your esteemed Professor Unicorn. First, I will show you an example. Behold, this splendid demonstration of the magical arts. Now you try. Uh, no. I have no idea what you just did. Could you not tell by watching? I simply concentrated all my awareness on the celestial vessel and outfired the magic. This is hopeless. Come now. One mustn't balk at the first hurdle. Now just close your eyes and give it a try. How do you even concentrate awareness? Louise, mm, what's happening? Unicorn's lecture awakens heightened powers within Louise, controlling various attributes, taking down foes with magic. You acquired the mage job class. Yay! This what is happening. I do not know either. It would seem that the monolite weapon studied Unicorn's magic and changed its owners to match. Enough with the labyrinthine elucidations. Speak simply. The f Luriz is now able to utilize magic after taking your lecture. Is that to say that my lecture worked? But of course it would. Your teacher was none other than the illustrious Unicorn. From the looks of her, I cannot imagine Louise made this happen consciously. In which case... Yes, yes. Let's not waste any more time. Can we defeat that monster now, or can we not? Yes, we can. Louise, this must be very confusing to you, but it means your powers have enhanced. It is likely this phenomenon will occur in the future. It is a good thing. Let's keep moving. Okay. All right, I, I already know. I already know. Oh, we probably should. Yeah, there we go. Fire. Here 
it goes. There. La la la. She's so cute. All right, it's five ten. Wow, it's a long video today. Uh. I think this battle is best avoided. Yes. There's a monster that's nothing like the others. Stop, Larise. That's a formidable creature. There's no way we would stand a chance fighting it. It would be best not to get too close for risk of provoking it. But we need to get past it. I understand the hurry, but we must be prudent. For now, that monster has not yet noticed our presence. As long as we keep our distance, we should have we should be able to skirt around any potential conflict. We're going to sneak past it? Affirmative. In the event that it does notice us, we must do what we can to escape. If we run far enough away, then it should surely give up chase. Whenever you're ready, I will follow. And these are the fears. Let me just get past it. There's a lot of tutorial. A lot of tutorial. All right. Search. Something twinkles up in the water. I'll try. Get the shiny, get the shiny. Lose your balance and fall in the water. Your health decreased, but you got a small fiery core. All right, I can, I can deal with that. It's 5.40 p.m. All right, let's see. Alright, uh, it's starting to get up. Well, I mean, it, it won't hurt to fish a little, right? I'm allowed. Catch one good fish and everything's gonna uh, come up roses. Is this even a good time? Come on. There we go. Come in here, baby. Yeah! I like fishing. Let the battle commence. We need no bombs. Uh, no repairs. All right. You have my gratitude. Oh, these things are a little bit high level. End the battle. All clear. We might have to go level up. It's not like we're like only level three. And my backpack is full. Oh man, we're, we're, we're in a world of hurt. Looks like, uh, oh boy, yeah, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to call it, call it. It's gonna happen sometimes, we're gonna be in the middle of something and next thing you know we're gonna have to like stop. But on the plus side, we got a lot of goodies. Uh, we should probably let the fish out. 
Alright, and uh, it's 9 p.m. Let's see what we can do with a little bit of farmage. A little late night farmage. Oh, that's that's kind of crazy. All right, so we got uh, what uh, a few more little seeds, like four. Kind of important to get these things in the dirt, you know. And that's the entire farm. Stupid rocks. All right, let's put this in here and that fur eh, guess it wouldn't hurt to just empty things out a little bit and uh, I think we got like a little bit more time I don't think it's gonna like force us you feel sleepy but we can stay up until midnight of course we didn't catch anything I, I double pressed the button all right I'm really sorry that this one went a little bit longer than expected, but storyline and stuff. I guess we're going to have to expect it every once in a while to go ahead and make a longer video. I'll try to keep it under an hour, but uh, no guarantees. I mean, the storyline's really great, you know? And uh, as you can tell, I've, I've went through a little bit of it. That, that's because I wanted to make sure there's nothing like weird that has to get put on YouTube or, or anything like that you know so yeah sometimes I got I gotta play the game beforehand to make sure you know it's not gonna like offend anybody or something because some things are offensive in this world and I was a little bit offended at the beginning of the game but I, I didn't let that stop me from playing it and it really has no bearing on anything it's just people being weird. You know? It is what it is. I think that's the last fish. And uh, let's go ahead and run. Oh! Got it. Hold on. Check the mail. Looks like the time has come. It's from the smithy. I've noticed you've been heading outside the village a lot lately. Heard it was to Higgin Canyon of all places. You know there's a whole bunch of monsters lurking about that way. You must be having a bear of a time getting through with, it, with that twig you call a weapon. If I'm right, then stop by my place, you hear? It's like I told you when we first met. There'll be a time when you need a weapon. That time is now absolutely, absolutely. Oh, look! I made sandwiches again, so I thought I'd share some. I'll make Dems next, so don't worry about him. You seem to be leaving the village a lot more often these days. Remember to eat regularly and get your proper nutrients, understand? Ooh, we got some vegetable juice and some sandwiches. Heck yeah. Oh, she says, you, you eating well? Not eating properly makes it easier for your body to break down, so I'm sending these just in case. Remember, your health comes first, and definitely don't push yourself to stay up late. You'll collapse if you're not careful, and somebody will have to carry you home. Just take care, okay? And then we got more sandwiches and more juice. That's gonna come in handy. Handy dandy. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and save. Right through there. We always save. Yeah, there we go. And now that we have the saving thing activated, we're probably just going to put we're gonna we're, we're, we're gonna go ahead and sleep how about that and then tomorrow's video we're going to be going out starting in the in, in the butt crack of the morning how does that sound and day six and we have leveled up and uh Here's the shipment. Only th 305 Grilla. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. 
It is what it is. But I guess tomorrow is going to be day seven. We're going to rock it out and we're going to do the things. It's going to be absolutely outstandingly and amazing. Make sure you comment down below uh, with your complaints of how long this video was. Like, share, and subscribe. And uh, don't, don't forget to eat or you'll die. And dying is not fun. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching everyone. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Thank you very much. Until the next time. Goodbye. <laughs>